All right, let's take a look at this problem that involves Hubble's law. So it says, what would be your estimate for the universe's age if you measured a value for the Hubble constant of h naught equals 20 kilometers per second per million light years? That big M, little light years, right in here, that means millions of light years, or mega light years, but it's the same thing. All right, this is that problem where we mess around with the units and get the right answer. It's not obvious how to do this, so if it doesn't make sense to you right off the bat, don't feel bad. This is a technique that you're learning, and once you've learned it, you can apply it to any problem like this. So, we've got h naught, and it's equal to 20 kilometers per second per million light years. And the first thing we're going to do is turn it upside down. 1 over h naught. 1 over 20. Now the units flip upside down too, so a million light years per kilometers, whoops, kilometers per second. Great. Now let's rewrite this top part, the million light years up here. So I can replace this whole thing with a million, which is 10 to the 6, times the definition of a light year. 3 times 10 to the 5th kilometers per second times a year. Now if we look at what's going to happen here, the kilometers per second are going to wipe out, and we're going to be left with just units of years. What happened to this part, the million light years, is I've just written it out in its definition. So all we need to do now is multiply 1 over 20 times 10 to the 6 times 3 times 10 to the 5. And this one, actually, the numbers are, are pretty easy to work with. So you could do this without a calculator, but you're welcome to just throw it into your calculator. And I'll give you a second to try it. Um, you might want to pause the recording, and when you've got the answer, hit play, and we'll compare answers. All right, so my answer is 1.5 times 10 to the 10 years, which is 15 billion years. So again, don't feel bad if this whole thing seems a little bit dodgy and mysterious. Um, it's, it's an unusual technique. You don't see it in math very often. Again, you just have to try it out, get comfortable with it, and then you can apply it to any problem like this.